Hi guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today we got some news in the internet. And it's saying that Prince Harry now officially considers the U.S. of A, not Britain, his primary residence. <laughs> I'll tell y'all my comments later. <laughs> so we're going to read an article and of course give you our opinions on this. Okay, so the article's from NBC News, and um, it says the headline, Prince Harry now officially considers the U.S., as he mentioned, not Britain, his primary residence. The change was revealed in a filing with the U.K.'s company's house on Wednesday. It comes as Prince William returns to royal duties on Thursday for the first time since Princess Kate's cancer announcement. Now, this article is... Uh, by Patrick Smith. So Prince Harry, um, again, now officially considers himself a resident of the United States, according to a new, a new UK regulatory filing. The Duke of Sussex moved to California in 2020 with his American wife, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, after the couple stepped back from royal duties. The prince had suggested that this may have been a temporary move. The UK is my home and a place that I love that will never change, he said in a speech soon after the announcement. We both do everything we can to fly the flag and carry out our roles for this country with pride, he said. But a filing on Wednesday from Travelless LTD, which was founded by the prince, showed that America is now his primary residence, at least for business purposes. The listing was added to Companies House, a government agency that lists public documents for privately owned businesses in uh, Britain. Using his full name, Wild, <laughs> Prince Henry Charles Albert David Duke of Sussex, it said, new country, state, usually resident, United States. The London-based company, set up in April 2020, is 75% owned by the prince and describes itself as an advisor to the world's leading travel brands on sustainable tourism. Its most recent set of accounts covering the year um, of June 30th, 2023, showed the company made a profit of $70,000, well, $70,600. The change was filed this week, but was made on June 29th last year, the same day it was reported that Harry and Meghan had officially left Frogmore Cottage, a royal property near to Windsor Castle, west of London. Harry told a reporter in February that he, cons he had considered applying to become an American citizen. Harry and Meghan have made headlines in recent years, more for their media careers. His memoir, Spare, shot to the top of bestseller charts in the UK, with its frank and detailed account of his early life, including losing his virginity in a field outside a country pub. The couple last week announced the latest productions as part of their multi-year contract with Netflix, a documentary series about polo, and a lifestyle show focused on friendship and food. This week, Megan launched her own lifestyle brand by sending strawberry jam or jelly to influencers across the U.S. The jars were labeled American Riviera Orchard Montecito referring to the upmarket neighborhood of Santa Barbara, where the couple now live with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. And I added the prince and princess because NBC News did not for whatever reason. Anyway, Thursday also marks the first official royal engagement for Prince William, the heir to the throne, since his wife, Princess Kate, announced she was receiving treatment for cancer. The prince was due to visit a community group in West London and the neighboring area of Surrey to highlight efforts to reduce food waste as a way to feed people in need and reduce emissions that are harmful to the environment. Okay, so go ahead with your thoughts. Go ahead. I just have one. <laughs> it's more of a statement. Okay. Prince Henry, go home. You <laughs> Just go home. Go fix things with your family. You don't want these U.S. problems. Yeah, I know the article said about um, it being for business purposes, but, and, and we're not going to get very political here, but one said presidential candidate has said that he's just going to make, you know, Prince Harry's life difficult. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say about it. Why, why do we want these problems? I feel like, you know, you could... Go back home, reconcile with your family, apologize to everybody, you know, and get get an apology back too, you know. 
that's my concession. Get back <laughs> to me also. And let's live a happily ever after life. You don't want these US problems. Matter of fact, do y'all want me to go to the UK? I will go. Just let me know. You'll trade places. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Um, well, first and foremost, Harry is with his family, ma'am. They live in Montecito, California. You're, you're sounding very Courtney Kardashian right now. Well, she's not claiming the Kardashians. She's claiming her new family. It, it's not new. That That is her family. Oh. It, Courtney married Travis. That is her family. Mm-hmm. There, there's no new to it anymore. That's been her family. Just like Harry... And his family reside mm-hmm. in the U.S. So um, re- there are reports that he will be traveling to the U.K. Um, next month for, I believe, it is uh, anniversary of the uh, founding of the Invictus Games. It is believed that Megan will travel with him. Where they're going to stay, obviously, we do not know. If he'll actually see his family, we do not know. But um, the whole situation with the listing, you know, the U.S. as his primary residence, I mean, it's it's accurate. They were kicked out of the U.K. when Frogmore Cottage was taken away. So they don't have a primary residence in the U.K. anymore. What are they going to do? Find another cottage. For what? They have a home in America. Go home. <laughs> he is home. the man is home the man is not home the man is home with his family and don't sound like all of these um this is gonna just be a little bit of like american issues y'all so you people who aren't american if you don't want to listen that's fine but uh for american people this sounds you telling him to go home it sounds very similar to what said can presidential candidate likes to say to Mm. immigrants and that's very inaccurate ma'am so i'm just saying he's just gonna have a difficult time here if said presidential candidate is going to start problems with him and and we've seen a few articles on it but i'm not going to touch on it we've also seen articles saying that he is considering or i don't know how true it is u.s citizenship so there is an article from mirror.co.uk. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, and it says, if Prince Harry does decide to truly embrace U.S. life, don't do it, please, and take up U.S. citizenship, it would leave him without his royal titles and giving up being prince. So in order for Harry to secure a U.S. passport, he would have to take an oath of allegiance which requires him to renounce all allegiance to any foreign prince, state, or uh, sovereign. This would mean that he could no longer claim his British royal status and therefore would be forced to let go of his prince title. Yeah. He ain't gonna do that. He's not gonna do that. So see, he's not even fully committed to being in the U.S. He is a resident of the (laughs) U.S., you just try- like he's still a resident of the UK in essence because he's a prince of England. But like his home, his home is here with his wife and his children, his family. It's here. So, um, yeah, no, I don't think I don't think he should become a citizen. I, I don't really think that like there'd be much point to that because you would have to renounce your, your citizenship and of, you know, England, you'd have to renounce your titles and all that stuff. Cause we don't have, we don't have princes here. And we know that somebody's duchess will be so upset because you know, she holds the duchess oh, very oh near and dear to her heart. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> as inaccurate as that is, Mm -hmm. Um, I do think that, um, I think eventually he probably would try to, uh, find him and his family a residence in the UK, because I know that like, he still wants to be able Mm -hmm. to, once it is safe, take his children there. Um, it's still his home country. So, um, but I, I do know that like specifically this situation is because of the, the rules and regulations that he has to follow with the business um, situation and all that. So 
Um, of course, of course, everybody wants to make it into like this negative thing <laughs> when he's just following the rules, but oh, God forbid. Well, guys, we will have reference articles in the description box. We read them verbatim, okay? <laughs> Don't come for us. These are just our opinions. And of course, clearly in this video, we're going to agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. Because that's what we do best. But let us know what you think in the comments. Do you think Prince Harry will become a U.S. citizen? Do you think he should just, in the most nicest way, go back home with his other family and, like, just fix whatever needs to be fixed? Uh, you don't want a reconciliation? I think that he is with his family. Oh. Those other people, the the previous family, sure, that should be worked out one of these days. More, the more previous people. people? You mean the people that he grew up with? Did he though? Oh. Did he? Because I've been listening to his audiobook. Guys, and let us know what you think in the comments. But if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please subscribe. We're growing our community so your friends can be our friends and we can all be friends. We're almost at 10,000 followers. My Help God. us out. <laughs> Social media, which they'll tell you about. We are on TikTok and Instagram at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys like, follow, share, and comment. You can also listen to the videos in podcast format um, via Spotify and YouTube Music. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.